Hello again and welcome back to Paul's Racing Channel and to the Ultimate Racing League. So this is race two of round one from Brands Hatch GP circuit of our BTCC GR4 Championship. And uh, second of our 15 minute races is about to begin. Rolling start here for the drivers. So this let's go through the grid and this is based on the results from race one. So Stormflight on pole position again. Fitzy in second. Motorstorm Hero third. Willard in fourth, Dizzy Rip in fifth, myself in sixth, James Stephen in seventh, Wacky in eighth, Osmond ninth, Archer tenth, Potsy eleventh, G Mac in twelfth, Brian Moncarney in thirteenth, TJ fourteenth, White Van Man in fifteenth, and Captain Slow after he's off in race one in sixteenth. Right, so Stormfly then leading them off again, Fitzy second, Motorstorm in third. So exactly the same repeat from race one here at the, at the front of the field as they now head off towards turn one. So can Stormfly be as dominant as he was in race one? Fitzy will have uh, something to say about that, I'm sure, along with Motorstorm Hero as uh, will I just run it a little bit wide. Dizzy Whip's going to a little look. Willard then in fourth, at least front three. Oh, just pulling a small gap from him in fourth place. And we've got Dizzy in fifth, myself in sixth, James in seventh, Wacky eighth, Osman ninth. So it's all still as it was. Start of this race two. Like Storm Hero trying to put the pressure on behind Fitzy. See how much curb you can take there on the outside. Take too much of it, of course, but it's enough runoff there just to take enough that you need. This is the uh, difficult corners now coming out to towards the stadium section. Willard just falling back a little bit from the Storm Hero now. Got the pressure from Dizzy Rip, Paul James, Wacky. There's our front three, and there's that gap. Oh, Motorstorm nearly running wide. Oh, G uh, Willard did. He's now going to help Dizzy try and get that pass done. No, covers it well, does Willard? Stopping him going down. The inside and the outside, so good defensive work at the moment. We are very early in the uh, race to be defending, but Dizzy Whip's going to have a go now, is he? No, he thought about it. Oh, and who's that? That's uh, Wacky going up the inside. Is it James coming around the outside? Not sure. Might have been James around the outside, actually. He's got a better exit there as James got himself into seventh. That pass allowed, what's it has allowed is uh, Osman to get onto the back of Wacky. Still in ninth, Osman, but he's. Uh, Have a, have a look at Wacky for sure. Not through here, maybe along the, maybe either a Clearways or a Paddockill Bend, possibly and the two favourite corners, but just ahead of them, look at this battle. Paul over the back of Dizzy, Dizzy Hills all over the back of Willard, and then James behind them. Wacky and Osman, big queue of cars here. All uh, fighting from what, fifth place all the way down to about eighth or ninth here so really good battle here as Paul tries to have a look around the outside but that doesn't work we know that not a bad kill it doesn't what about here at Druids think he's gonna have a, a look up here does he have a go we thought about it James is gonna try and go around the outside if you can go around the outside there if you can get yourself along the side of the car ahead actually set yourself up nicely for this left hand turn but you've got to be right up the side of the car to make that one work. So at the minute Willard just seems to be holding up these cars behind him. Look at the queue he's forming behind him here. Obviously he's going as fast as he possibly can. He's on the medium tyres but 
they're all queuing up behind him having a, a look and it's all a little bit actually he's great driving through there it was out well, I did take kick up some grass there Paul's trying to have a look at Dizzy still can't get it done but now James is having Paul's running a bit wide that's going to let James get through Wacky's going to have a look as well so Paul just running a little bit wide through there up Dingle Dell still there it's seventh Wacky's trying to get past Osmond's there as well so Paul's having to do a little bit of defensive work James Stephen though left looking left right and centre try and get past with hard, but meanwhile Dizzy Rick's falling all the way back to sixth. Oh, James goes deep and wide and wacky, and it's all very look at this about three or four side coming across the line. What a battle this is! This is how evenly matched these cars are. Great racing, wacky right out wide. It takes a little bit of travel out there to Dizzy Rip up the inside. No, Osler, no, he's made a spark to rope, so so much going on there. It looked like there was passes going on everywhere, but actually, to be fair, it's still Willard in that fourth place with James fifth, Paul sixth. Wacky having a look at Paul now up the inside. Yeah, he'll get that done. So Paul loses a spot to Wacky Racer. So back to seventh goes Paul. You've got Osman behind as well now. Look at him still three or four going. At down that straight into the right hander as they were though still Paul still there in seventh Osman in eighth Dizzy now down to ninth so he's lost a lot of uh, a heap of places hasn't he from where he was now fifth place at one point that fighting and battling has dropped him down to ninth and to be fair G Max now on the back Paul now having a look at uh, Wacky again Wacky runs it wide onto the grass Osman's gonna take advantage of that, but Wacky's on the inside. Look at this lot. Again, three or four abreast going across the line here. Unbelievable racing. Archer's in there too. Behind them in the red shell car. Up the inside. Good move from Archer. Up the inside of Dizzy Whip. What a move that was. Let's just have a look at that. Got himself a little bit of slipstream. There it was, the pass through on Dizzy Rip. Good move in the end. So up to 10th he goes. Dizzy's now down to 11. Brian Moncarni's now joined the group. To be fair, TJ's not that far off either. So we see Archer still having a look. Dizzy though. Yeah, I bet he is getting dizzy, to be fair. Everywhere he looks, there's cars. Just can't get self going at the moment can he and G-Mac he's come through and uh, now Wacky's gone back to ninth so Wacky seems like he's uh, now being involved in a little bit of argy bargy all clean stuff though of course and it's all looking good out there great racing this is what it's all about and ironically this is what the the real BTCC is all about so, living up to deliveries for sure. It's a whole stream of cars. We haven't even time to look at the leaders, have we? I think there's much going on up there anyway. Well, Motorstorm actually has got himself up to second place. So, let's just have a quick look. Was that a, a recent pass, do you think? Well, he's on, on the back of uh, Stormfly, to be fair. So I don't think I've caught the pass, but whilst we were focusing on all that going on behind, Storm flight at uh, motor storm going a bit wide there. That's going to allow Fitzy to get back on the back of him. He was pounding on the pressure onto the back of Storm flight at one point there, wasn't he? Motor storm looked like he uh, could be challenging for the lead. He's still there, of course, but Fitzy's looking interested in third. He has been, he has lost that place, hasn't he? But to be fair, it's all still close. And our leader, Storm flight. Still leading it from the front. I'm still here, of course, we know all about from our Sunday Championship just finished. So we know he's a quick driver. Up to second, got the fastest lap as well at the moment, a 130.2. So that just goes to 
show how much he was pushing on, why he's got as close as he did to the back of Stormfly, although this isn't going to be that quick, this lap off in this time, because taking a little bit of grass, I wonder if Stormfly's on a charge here, let's see. Looks like he might have just increased his lead. No, so still fastest lap is Motorstorm Hero. He's under pressure big time from Fitzy now in third. Goes wide, and this is an opportunity for Fitzy up here at Drew's, is it? Well, he tried to go up, but then he was uh, kind of had to go out wide. He had to uh, avoid the back of Motorstorm Hero there. Motorstorm was obviously defending hard, and Fitzy was either that plough into the back of him or go deep, and he had to go deep and wide in the end Fitzy but didn't lose too much time to be fair still there in third and still close behind Motorstorm Hero race three by the way is reverse grid so uh, these guys if it stays where it is Motorstorm Hero does a bit of grass tracking it will be at the back of the pack come race three Let's get this race out of the way though first, shall we? Ten minutes in, five minutes, so two thirds of the way through, five minutes left now. Motorstorm went deep and wide and Fitzy took the opportunity, ran the outside, gets the job done, up to second place. Motorstorm back to third. This has of course allowed Stormfly to just fill a few more cars lengths away from him. In fact, it's like he's got it under control now, doesn't it? Again. I mean, let's be honest, he hasn't really had it out of control, has he? But just for a moment, it like Motorstorm Hero and Fitzy were going to uh, going to be fighting with him. Just pause there for a second because I thought for a second that uh, Fitzy had got back to second place, but he had anyway, hadn't he? After that little uh, mistake from Motorstorm Hero, but James up to fourth now, behind them. Come on, it's only a little bit. Then this group of three: Willard fifth, Osmond sixth, Paul seventh. Wacky in eighth place. TJ in ninth. Dizzy in tenth, still close here. G Mac in eleventh for half a second penalty for him. Archer twelfth, Brian Moncarney thirteenth half. A second penalty for him as well. So a couple getting track limit penalties. Hot C 14th. White Van Man in 15th. Captain Slow in 16th. So let's go back to that uh, TJ battle with Dizzy and Dizzy having a look now through Dingle Dell. Up the other side, gets the job done, gets the pass done. And up to knife he goes, but TJ still just taking the back of him there, runs it wide. G Max said, I'll have a bit of that, but he's going to have a penalty to take off. That's going to allow Archer through. So Archer's through to 10th. TJ's 11th. No, G Max actually got the 11th back off of TJ. So G Max, TJ, 11th, 12th, then Brian Mulcahy in 13th. Dizzy ahead of them in 9th. Well, a screeching tyres, and who's that? It's wacky. What happened to him at the bottom of Paddock Hill Bend? Right in the dip. Let's see. Did he grab some? The outside, he's going to, isn't he? Yeah, and away he goes. And he's just there for the ride in the end. Man getting some great shots of that uh, action. But uh, not such a great shot of wacky there. Fortunately, just give it a little bit too much. The exit of Paddock Hill Bend has probably given him a lot of damage well, bashing into the uh, barrier like that. But uh, White Van Man we're looking at now attacking Potsy. Potsy. Have to give, I think, there. White Van Man does get it done. That's uh, Paul's teammate then up to 13th. But Potsy will, uh, no doubt, fight back down. The right hand up. Right there, yeah, it's Potsy, but he's uh, 
hanging on to the back of the white van man. It certainly looks like the Mazda 3. It's got just a little bit more pace than the Attenza, certainly around here anyway. A little bit more nimble, isn't it, the car? Watching now, having a look into Final Paula through clear ways. But again, White Van Man didn't allow him get to, to get through. What's TJ doing? Remember, this is the man with the really bad tyres come the end of race one, and there's three of them here. Brian's got through the 10th, GMAC 11th. TJ 11th now up the inside of GMAC. So TJ got that done. Down to 12th place. Got an inside curve from TJ. So Brian now ahead of these two in 10th. Another one of our Sunday League drivers who's got a bit wide though, and G Mac and TJ with the door banging now. Didn't quite get that right through there, but uh, G Max managed to get TJ. So back up to 11th he goes. Your own little personal battle back here at 10th, 11th, and 12th place. Drivers, as we're on to the final lap now, we better go and see our leader. Where is he? He's coming round through the final corner. Congratulations again, two out of two for Stormfly. Well done, Fitzy gets his second second place as well. Well done to him, Motor Storm Wheeler will come in third again. Race two, so top three are the same as before. James Stephen will come in fourth place. And then a good battle here between Willard and Osman, who gets it. Willard just does ahead of Osman. Paul coming in seventh behind them. Dizzy Whip in eighth, ahead of Archer in ninth. So he did get a place back there. And then TJ and GMAC side by side, who gets it. TJ's going to just grab it. Tenth for him, GMAC 11th. Ryan McCartney 12th, White right? Van Man in 13th, Potsy in 14th. And then Wacky coming in in 15th. After he's off, Captain Slow will get that 16th place again. So there's race two then. One more race to go for this round one at Brands Hatch. Hope you can join me. See you then. Thanks for watching.